Alright guys, how's it going? There was a question posted on Facebook earlier today and it essentially asked, how can I drive an animation channel using audio? Now the great thing about 3D software is, there's generally more than one way to skin a cat. So I'll show you my method, it might not necessarily be the best. So what I'll do here is I'll go to add and I'll add in a speaker. And I'll just move it so you can see what's happening. Now this is just so you can hear the audio, so what I'll do is I'll open up the wave file. And I'll let you have a little listen. Slightly disturbing, yet erotic at the same time. So how can we utilise audio with animation? So I'll set the keyframes back to frame 0, or 1 rather. And what I'll do here is I'll hit I and I'll set a keyframe on visual scaling. Just so we can see what's happening, I'll go to the transform. So hit I, visual scaling. Now you can see here that it's set a keyframe on frame 1. The next thing you want to do is go into animation. I'll move this over a little bit. I'll change the editor type to the graph editor. And I'll bring down the object transform. Now you can see where we've actually keyframed. So if I go to frame 1 and select the Y scale, I can then come up to this menu and I can go to key. And you can see it here, bake sounds to F curves. So pretty much like we've done with the speaker, we'll just select the wave file. Now you can see here it's automatically baked to keyframes. Now we don't have much control over this, but there's a few methods that we can use to fix this. But we'll hit play and we'll see what it does. Now that's pretty good. And it's an organic animation, it's something that you necessarily couldn't keyframe. It's derived from audio. So you can see between frames 1 and 12, maybe 11, it flatlines, and that's because there's no audio at the beginning. So what can we do? So if we come up here at the tab, we can go to keyframe, we can go to add f-curve modifier, and we'll add an envelope. Now you won't necessarily see something, and that's because the properties tab's hidden, so if we press the end key, It'll give us a few options. We come down to the modifiers tab. Let me just move this over a little bit for you. And you can see here, what I'll do is I'll scroll back to frame 1. And I'll add in a control point. Now, I already know that the Y height on frame 12, for example, is 1.4. Now, I don't want this to be hidden. I want that to be around about the same size. So, it's a bit linear rather than just jumping out of nowhere. So I'll select the Y scale again, I've added a control point, I'll set the minimum value to 1.4 because I already know that, I'll set the maximum to 1.4 as well, and what I'll do is I'll restrict the frame range, and I'll just slightly move the slider up, and it's probably around 12 point something, 12.7, so now you can see here we've got this nice kind of equal curve and then we start moving into the animation and that's a brief overview of how to bake keyframes using an audio file now you don't necessarily need to bake it to the Y scale you can bake it in any axis to be fair there's a few scripts out there as well on the internet that lets you unbake the keyframes and it gives you a lot more control so over the next week or so I'll actually show you how to utilise a graph editor it's a must really in terms of being an animator can you do me a favour? Can you like and subscribe to the videos? It helps the channel out. If not, peace.